dead clean in some information from the application EML files, this is properly programmed. And then put it my source code into the my our Git uh, GitHub repository like UV software repository. You can take it from there and do the exercise and do the your practices. And then you have you need to be more configured the parameters uh, configuration. See the very straightforward configuration. This is the configuration, the bit generation automatically create the pin with the micrometer registration being micrometers and then just return the registrar and then it's a number of expressions micrometer registry config one text the like i put it very straightforward you don't need it but we put it like the extra configuration to create the pin out of the out of your uh, micrometer registry customized information that create the pin so on the configuration is done your is being uh, your open api configuration done your micrometer configuration done and then just you need to be cross check the your your micrometer the attribute which attribute we already discussed this one so you need to be check it like which matrix says you need to expose you see the most important part we expose is like that so management endpoints we expose the prometheus and then also the health and info and matrices and also the endpoints always to be sure and the matrix information with the tag with the specific name of the applications so everything properly working and this is done it is it's running applications and then application is get ready you can simply run the applications what we did in here the application just like simply the main method application or you can the spring boot uh, spring in the intellij you can run the main function method or you can click it here the run main application and look configure it application and for for the for the professional case that i already discussed about you create these jar files make external deployments the all the deployment process uh, into the deploy external deployment process with instant jar based deployment you can also the docker docker compose based deployment and docker kubernetes deployment. i already discussed about the last screencast about all detailed information if i look over here the uh, maybe you can go there here there's some deployment process you see the all the deployment process i discuss here so all the standard uh, standalone jar based deployment how can you configure the all things the input parameters and this is already I already discussed about how can you do it, how can you process it. So, so all the all the deployment process I already discussed. So we said the environment protocol within a service definition, standard service definitions, and application settings. All the standard here is configurations. I did this this one. You can follow the previous screencast and you can get the clear understanding how it is be done. And here you can go to this one again. We I already discussed about the Docker Compose deployments and exactly the same definitions and docker, docker compose file deploy based deployments external deployment i mean the external enterprise enterprise the enterprise level how in the professional life how we deploy it so it says in the docker docker compose we see the docker files we simply copy the our docker uh, standalone jar uh, standalone jar files to the docker containers and then uh, after the docker container is running we set the environmental variables which application version we are need and the installation team or deployment team just change the values of your database connectivity which application version you are uh, which ip address you try to install which port you are trying to install that very straightforward i already discussed this one and docker compose files just after running the docker compose files automatically docker compose file is, is there and also i already discussed the previous screencast the deployment process uh, like uh, the deployment process with the with the with the docker and kubernetes based deployments you see the exact the same structure that i am following i am doing this the same structure so the, those here new into the channels just to follow the previous screencast how can you do that i will do the exactly same thing with the with the with the with the, this monitoring issues with the with the kafan and prometheus mods exactly the same configuration but today i did it like standalone jar based deployments with our IntelliJ ID, but we can do in the later part of the screencast. So how can you do the external deployment with the standalone jar, Docker, Docker Compose page, and Docker Kubernetes based deployments? So you see that all the configuration is there, application EML file, Docker files is there, and then you have the secrets and uh, the kinds of config maps and the secret definition of the database, and then you have a PostgreSQL database uh, config, and then you have a uh, PostGIS settings of the PostGIS image, Docker image coming and the persistent volume claims. I already discussed it, but it says look for the previous channels and also the application.eml file is Spring Boot application, the standard uh, Kubernetes configuration with the email configuration. You just follow that one and I think that's really help you. 
So that means you have all the possibility. We discussed uh, deployment process like standalone Jarvis deployment. You have deployed Docker, Docker Compose, between the Docker Kubernetes deployment. It doesn't matter. It's a every application could be or should be monitored with the Gafana and Prometheus and then actuated information, the micrometer information. That's that. So we run the application. That's his run application running. That's we already saw. And then we check. We already run the, our our Prometheus and Gafana. We see the Prometheus Gafana application running we see the matrix information and also we, we saw the all the uh, all the all the requested in the in the point in the in the into the prometheus the matrix there's a lot of matrix information you can visualize the, all the matrix information that you need that you have you can see all the selection of the prometheus even though you can write your complex uh, complex uh, complex uh, expression the, like the you uh, new ui there is a new ui you can also use the new ui and it's a new possibility you can use the expression also or you can also hear the same thing is there so you can all the connectivity all the possibility uh, to to pre present your matrix informations and then also your is uh, your http request informations and then you can see the execution i think since executions you see the graphs information all the execution process is running on those things i it's believe it's working so all things is working perfectly so in the prometheus information just you run the prometheus that i see around the Gafana, and then it's connected with the with the with the Gafana mode export and visualize the matrix information i will go to the detail information how can we configure this thing in the next podcast see the application is running we see the our actuator inform in information the actuator and prometheus information and and then see the our all the application running and also we can see our gui our swagger ui is running so now we can do the some test with the existing running process how it is running how it is be handled how it is be called so so that means we can go to the postman that i already discussed how can globally set this uh, the testing and you can see all the the postman testing here the, the application itself is the application up it's running and then you can also uh, do the do the testing and the app then also check the b the uh, the swagger ui versions uh, the you can document by document version you see the swagger ui all the information that's you need you can define the, all the url for endpoints is there all the documents information is there so then you have seen some data is there the, our uh, group basic group functionality is there so you see some 206 some, some record there in database level you can create some record maybe now to test something to the postman so and postman also the gafana and also the also the prometheus so we can send some record so we can set some record so it's so so you see the record number two seven eight i think so it's eight and then nine and we can maybe let's see some create some record the user and maybe you can say put it like the user seven user sevens and uh, 207 has some some role definition and the role definitions we said 204 105 and 106 so we can see the database level it is the coming properly what we did the test so let's let's check so we see that uh, 207 208 209 coming properly and we define the user role also it is coming properly i think so so we see the 100 104 with the respective ide of your user role ID. so we see the user role definition is map properly mapped our our, our database properly handles so even though we can check it like our history the, uh, the our, our migration history uh, script uh, flyway scripts so it is properly migrated our database schemas so it's everything handled so we can do the same test with the with the uh, with the with the, the swagger ui let's do it the same test with the swagger ui with the next screencast <laughs>